Good morning. Good morning. What's going on here? What's going on here? <laughs> good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Listen, y'all know the drill. Come on, say it with me. It's a Saturday morning and let's get it. Say it with me. Wake up and we'll wake up and we'll wake up and win. <laughs> Listen, blessings and happy Saturday. Welcome to another episode, another broadcast of Wake Up and Win Live with your girl, Dr. Najuma. So glad to have you all tuning on live with us and those that are also watching and listening to the replay. So very grateful for each and every one of you. Let's get in this uh, conversation this morning. Um, But please do us a couple of favors, like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. And before we get into our win word for today, let me reintroduce myself. I'm your girl, Dr. Najuma. I am a pastor. I'm a spiritual growth coach. I do work in the community around civic and community engagement. And I also use this platform to offer a daily, weekly win word. Because here's what I know for sure is that you can go through a major loss, recover, restore, rebuild, and get back out there and win again. You can go through a major loss, recover, restore, rebuild, and get back out there and win again. And so I like to use this platform to talk about winning again. What does that look like? What does that feel like? What are the steps? What are the processes? And I'm and I'm sharing based on my experience, my conversation with other people, but also the things that I've studied. And so, uh, so again, thank you for being tuned in to Wake Up and Win Live with your girl, Dr. Najuma. Let's get into today's win word. Let's get into today's win word. And that is a Alignment part three. Our last couple of episodes, we talked about alignment. So today we're talking about alignment part three. Alignment part three. And what we're offering today is about aligning our ask with our doing. Our asking with our doing. Is our asking in alignment with our doing? And is our doing in alignment with the things that we're asking for? I'm going to say it again. Is our doing in alignment with what we're asking for? And is our what we're asking for, is it being aligned or are we aligning what we're asking for with what we're doing, right? And here's what I know to be true for sure, which I know for sure, is that what I ask for, I must also move, flow, make decisions, do the things in alignment with what I'm asking for, right? And so as that relates to, so how does that relate to what we're talking about here, getting back out there and winning again? Well, let me let me share this story with you. Okay, so in the Bible, there's a story about a man who's by the pool and at this particular pool of water in this particular part of the country, not our country, overseas, um, it was believed that when the waters were stirred, if you got in the water, you could be healed. Well, story goes in the Bible, right? <laughs> the man by the pool, he sat there for 38 years, 38 years. Now, 38 years is a long time, right? Right. And I've heard preachers say a few different things. Oh, in 38 years, he could have rolled into the water. 38 years, he could have scooted into the water. 38 years of wanting to get in the water to be healed because he was lame. Let me go back. He was lame, couldn't walk. And so he sat by the pool or was dropped off by the pool. Somebody had to bring him to the pool by the side of the pool, waiting for someone to put him in the water, waiting for someone to put him in the water. And so for 38 years, it was proposed that he sat there every day, every week, however, being dropped off by the side of the pool, but no one ever put him in the water. So on this one particular day, Jesus is in the area and Jesus sees the man and the man begins to tell Jesus that he's been sitting by the pool for 38 years and every time the water stirs, no one puts him in. Every time the water stirs, no one puts him in. And again, it's been preached in 38 years, he could have scooted. In 38 years, he could have, he could have rolled. In 38 years, there are a number of things he could have done. And he waits, but he waits. And so Jesus asked the man, do you want to be made whole? Right? The question itself intimates that if you want to be whole, you could be. Like you're asking to be whole, but do you want to be whole? Because you're asking for it, but do you want it? Because truthfully, clearly in 38 years, 
38 years, you could have got in the pool, right? And so the question becomes, or the question is, this man who sat by the pool for 38 years needing to be healed, wanting to be healed, at least that's what came out of his mouth, desiring to be healed, being at the place of healing, sat on the sidelines for 38 years. Or I shouldn't say sat because he was lame. So he laid by the sidelines for 38 years. And again, there are a number of different things he could have done in 38 years, but those, for whatever reasons, were none of the steps he took, right? And so for all of us, even if we are asking God to heal us from grief, heal us from pain, disappointment, heal us from broken promises and relationships, heal us from the grave disappointment of life that we've experienced. Because here's what I know first, you can go through a major loss, recover, restore, rebuild, and get back out there, win again. But I also want to, what I also do know and believe this is I have to, if I want to get back out there and win again, if I want to be healed, I want to be whole, I want to be made new again, there are some things I got to do. That, that, that my asking and my doing have to be in alignment. This man, for 38 years, he wanted to be made whole. His asking, but he wasn't doing any of the things that he could have done. Right. He was he, I'm not saying he was doing nothing. I'm just saying we're just offering that he wasn't doing the very options he had available to him. Again, rolling, scooting, whatever the case might be to get in the pool. Right. To get in the pool. And I'm not judging him. I am offering for you and I to consider today just to consider a couple of things. Number one, I know that at some point I had to ask I said, God, heal me, deliver me, help me to forgive, help me to love again. And and losing my son, while that was major, wasn't the only loss that I went through in the last few years, right? But I I want I know I knew I wanted to live again. I knew I wanted to live, not again, but live out loud, live loudly, live boldly. I knew I wanted to live after all the grave loss. So I actually had to do and I have to continue to do the things that keeps me in alignment with what I'm asking for. I have to do the things that are in alignment with what I'm asking for, even as I'm asking for. I'm not asking for things that are material. I'm not asking for a house or a car. Well, maybe I'm asking for a house, but when it comes to loss, I wasn't asking for a house. When it came to loss, when it came to disappointment, when it came to heartbreak, when it came to things coming apart in life that, that, that cannot be fixed, cannot be reversed, there are some things, it's a done deal. Losing my son was done. There was nothing I could do about that. Don't get to, do not get a repeat on raising him, right? And so, and so that grave hurt and pain, I knew I wanted to survive and thrive through and and even be on the healing journey, thus the pink hair, because it's symbolic of the ever healing journey, right? But in addition to what I want, what I wanted, what I want, what I still want, what I'm still working towards, right? What I'm asking God to do in my life, asking God to do for, for my children's life and my grandchildren's life, the asking that I'm doing right now, my daily doing has to still be in alignment with that. So whether it's a, it, whether it's, you know, transformation in your finances or a healed heart and a healed mind, there's still some things we have to do that's in alignment with what we're asking God for. And we're in a, that's in alignment, that's in agreement with what I'm asking God for. And too many times we are asking for one thing, doing something else, doing one thing, asking something else. And oftentimes our asking and our doing are misaligned mad line, not in line at all. And then we're wondering why things aren't coming together. And I'm going to ask the question again. I'm going to make the position again. The man was by the pool 38 years. If he wanted to be made whole, and that's why Jesus asked him, do you want to be made whole? And he goes on to give Jesus this whole expose about why he's not in the water. But that wasn't the question. Do you want again? Do you want to do? Do you want it? Because if you want, if you want to get in the water, if this is what you want to do. (laughs) And so 
Of course, we know Jesus heals the man because that is the message of Christ, right? Healing, turnaround, restoration. And so he does heal the man. But there, we see in this man the struggle to lean into why he's not in the water as opposed to doing what he could have done to get in the water because he was asking for healing. He was seeking he- healing. And so the question again for you and I on this fabulous day is are we doing the things that are in alignment with what we're asking God for? And again, these asks don't have to be material things. They could be the Im- immaterial things of life, like favor, like business acumen, like anointing, like covering, right? Like blessed children, grandchildren, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? But am I doing the thing that's in alignment with what I'm asking for? And I want to share with you that we have to align what we do and what we ask. We have to align what we do with what we, I'm sorry, we have to align what we ask with what we do and vice versa. The two should be in alignment. That's what propels us forward. That's what moves us forward. And so as a grieving mother, as a divorcee, again, as a single mom, again, right? Am I, I'm asking God for a lot interpersonal healing of course mind regulation of course physical body attendance to my physical body and healing of course and all the other material things in life right but what I'm asking God for I have to be doing living experiencing putting my spaces in intentional I'm putting myself in spaces with intentional action that align what I do with what I'm asking for so again the question are you asking and is it followed up with a to do or a doing that's in alignment that's in alignment alignment going up together at the same time right alignment flowing together alignment right one thing backs up the other alignment and the other backs up the one thing <laughs> Alignment. God healed me, so I align that with healing spaces. God blessed me, so I align that by being in blessed spaces, doing blessed things. <laughs> Alignment. Are you aligning what you hear God say or heard God say with what you're doing day to day, week to week, month to month? Are you? And so, alignment, hearing I mean, alignment, hearing, seeing, asking, and doing, asking, and doing. Okay, so whatever you're asking y'all for, make sure you're aligning that with what you're doing, or will do, or will do, all right? Listen, y'all, thank you for tuning in to Wake Up and Win Live with your girl, Dr. Njuma. I've enjoyed my short my brief amount of time with you this morning want to encourage you again to like share and subscribe leave a comment like share subscribe leave a comment are you with and and leave your comment to answer the question are you living in alignment with what you're asking what you're doing are those two things coming together for you and if not why not and what can you do about it all right so listen see you in the comments like share subscribe and we'll see y'all next time we out peace